Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna to continue constructing the studio. So the cloud mural is done. Pretty excited about that, but we've gotta move closer and closer toward getting the rest of the Lego in here. I got this small selection of modular buildings and they look fantastic with that background. But we're gonna be taking care of some more construction today. So this mural, it looks really good, but the rest of this wall doesn't look very good at all. Look at that. There's like this huge like hole down here and also just a whole bunch of wall damage all along the base of this drywall. Unfortunately, there's not really a way to fix that. The only way you can fix it is by covering it up with a large baseboard. So you actually got some MDF cut down to I think it was six inches and that has been painted white, and that is gonna be the baseboard. So we're gonna tack nail that in spot so it covers up that ugliness, and that should just sort of finish off the look of this wall, which used to be so ugly, and now I think it looks pretty good. There's also these long sheets right here, and that is actually going to go on the staircase right over here. So it's going to cap the handrail and the stairs have actually been painted. So this is that off-white color. It's like a bluish white color. So we're gonna cap that staircase there, give it more of a handrail. The final thing for the staircase will actually be carpet, of course, and then a little bit of uh, backboarding on there as well, I think. Actually, no, I think the carpet's just gonna come down because we painted this white here. So yeah, the carpet's just gonna come down. So that'll finish that off, and then, we're gonna use some of those other long sheets that you saw down there to cap off the pony walls as well. So those are gonna be, once again, tack nailed onto here and also along there and right here. And that's just gonna finish off the look of the pony wall. Also, you'll probably notice there's something new here. What is that thing right there? And that's actually a new heat vent. So I decided to add two heat vents branching off the furnace and you can see the other one coming out of the wall right there. And there's this massive like 10 inch duct that now comes out of the furnace. It's pretty ugly, but I think it's important for not heat because we have the radiant heater up there, but air conditioning. So when it gets hot in here, we have an air conditioning vent right there, which will hopefully blow some cold air up into the studio space here making it a reasonable temperature. And then there's another heat vent right there, which will provide a little bit of cool air in the Lego city room as well. And that is sort of ugly. I was like, oh my gosh, why does it have to be so big and come off the side of the furnace? But apparently that is to code. You need like a 10 inch duct coming off the side of the furnace, which will feed those two vents. So it should be all good. I'm, I know it's pretty ugly, but this is just like an exposed furnace. It's not like it's running into the ceiling like it would in a, a normal house or whatever it may be. Then there's also uh, a little bit of a heat vent right here, which has a damper put in it. So I can turn that on and off. And then these ones also have dampers as well. So there's a damper there and also a damper way up there. So I can turn those off if it's too hot or too cool or whatever it may be. And then I can also open and close those vents as well. Also, another thing that's probably gonna to happen today as well is this door is gonna be installed. So we're gonna put the uh, casing or the door jam going around there. And then we're gonna install this door right there. So you'll no longer be able to see the furnace, which is good. And it's funny, that door, I think it actually used to be right here. Or could it have been the door that like sectioned off the little mini room? Because remember, there used to be a wall right there. Either way, we're recycling the door, which is, Pretty cool. And maybe today we'll be able to do some painting as well because we need to touch that up. That's where the conduit used to be. And there's more of that throughout the other shelving room as well. And then there's some other paint touch-ups that have to happen as well, such as this right here. Remember there used to be like the telephone wires coming up there and the conduits ran up. Look, there's all the conduit markings there. So hopefully we can get some paint that sort of matches the old bluish gray color and then roll it on there so it makes that go away. Hey, speaking of paint, these walls right here, which used to be that ugly bluish gray color with a bunch of holes and damage all over the place have been patched up and painted as well. A lot of the patchwork actually happened up here and you can see some of that is actually still drying and then once that's dry, 
we can apply some more paint as well. So yeah, it's looking pretty fresh in here. This is the uh, off-white color on this accent wall, which of course is going to host all of the Lego art. I'm pretty happy to see this little paint roller in action. I have been wanting to cover up these ugly marks that I made on these walls for a very long time. It's super easy to cover up. It's just a flat white paint. So just gotta roll some paint on there. Should dry fairly quickly. Maybe some spots will require two coats, but just sort of roll up and down the walls. And after this, technically the shelving rooms will be done. I just need to do some cleaning, mopping and vacuuming and all that. And technically we could, if we so choose, bring in some shelving and some sets because this is sort of like the final thing that needs to be done in this area, pretty easy. Yeah, something as simple as that. Put a smile on my face, that's for sure. Not too bad, all those ugly spots are gone. Just gotta do one more coat. Don't mind me, I'm just the guy with the little tiny roller on the massive extension pole. But I'm painting in the blue. Which better does that look? I mean, get way up there with the extension pole. Not too bad at all. I think this is a pretty good color match because paint will, of course, dry darker. So this is where I've painted, and then there's the existing color. It's like perfect. So unless you've done a massive project like this, whether it be a home renovation or building a huge Lego studio with a beautiful cloud background, you don't realize how long some of these things take. Like for example, I was here all day along with my handyman Paul, who's sort of like the contractor that I have working on the job, doing all the miscellaneous jobs, like all the carpentry and stuff. And like, I feel like we should have got a lot more done today, but it just takes time. Making sure everything's level and properly uh, shimmed and just, you know, done correctly, putting a coat of paint on and then realizing, oh, it needs another coat and then realizing, oh my gosh, it needs another coat and just waiting for the paint to dry and waiting for the, the mud to dry, whatever it may be, or finding another nick in the wall, patching that, painting over that and trying to make it look beautiful. It takes a long time to do all this stuff correctly, but we did get lots of stuff done today. Something that I'm super excited about is the staircase. The stairs were so ugly when we first started this project and we sort of took this ugly staircase that was just terribly built and framed it and capped it and made it look really good. And we actually uh, added the capping today as I was mentioning earlier so you can see the caps there. Beautiful. It's like a nice little handrail. The paint's still wet so I'm not going to touch it. This uh, wood here still needs another coat of paint but yeah this right here is just a nice little handrail now. So that's beauty, it goes right to the top and they're cut at a perfect angle there. We still need to figure out how we're gonna fill this gap. So this gap is sort of weird because these stairs are like, <laughs> the original stairs were like crooked and uneven and all that, but we just tried to spruce them up as best we could and I think we've done a pretty good job here. However, we just need to fix this, this whole, <laughs> the handrail is actually lopsided. And, we didn't realize how lopsided it was until we put that on. So we're just going to be fixing that up tomorrow. But doesn't that look uh, great? I think it does. Now all it needs is the uh, carpet. And uh, we also put the capping on up here. As I was mentioning earlier, this looks really good. So the capping on top of these pony walls is now installed. Yeah, it looks really good all the way along here on this pony wall and then on that pony wall all over there as well. Now, there is a little bit of stuff that needs to be covered up there, such as the gap. But what we're actually going to do is take just a little bit of uh, trim and we're going to put some trim on this side. And we're also going to put some trim on the other side. You'll see that when we go downstairs as well. And I actually spent a lot of time just going around patching up these walls as you saw in the previous clip there and all the conduit markings are like gone. They're like invisible. There used to be conduit markings up top here because the conduit ran along here and then dropped down into those holes on the floor and you can't even really see them. In some areas I need to do one more coat of paint but 
it's pretty much all gone. Like for example, down here, you can see it behind the carpet tile, but then this is where I've done the painting. You can't see it anymore. Pretty sweet and that whole area is nicely patched up, but I was able to get way up top there as well. The paint just matched perfectly. There's the stairs going down. There's my Tim Hortons coffee, woo. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, looking pretty sweet up here. Unfortunately, we weren't able to paint this because this uh, mud right here is still drying. Some of that was pretty thick. So hopefully we can paint that tomorrow. And then you'll see uh, some green tape on the wall there. You're probably like, what is all that green tape? Well, that's actually just mar uh, marking the spots that we just have to sand and also uh, paint over as well. So something else we have to do tomorrow is add more trim. I mentioned the trim up there, but we also have to add the trim here as well. And the trim is actually gonna go right on top or like right in line with the cap. And it's going to hide that gap between the top of the wall and the uh, cap. It gets much larger over here just because we were dealing with warped two by fours, uneven ground, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it all makes up for it there. Uh, that uh, cap is actually braced underneath with shims and also with uh, some MDF as well, just to fill it all in. And then uh, we're gonna put the trim so it just covers that big gap there. Oh, I forgot to mention that um, I do plan on doing something up top here. And once I actually start building my tables, I'm probably gonna order an additional sheet of malamine. And what I'm gonna do is cut the malamine uh, to a perfect size so that it can actually go over top right here and just sort of rest on top. And then I'll put some of the edging on it and I'll probably just nail gun it in place. And then I'll be able to put some Lego on display right here. I know that me building these 12 foot walls was sort of an odd choice, but the reason I did that is because I wanted to hide all of this ugly stuff. Without building the 12 foot walls, you would sort of see all that stuff and I didn't want it to be visible at all. <laughs> so I'm glad that I decided to do that. But now it's sort of weird because we're looking down into the furnace room, but if I'm able to put something there and build a display or a little diorama or something there, I think it would be pretty neat. So that's a, a cool idea that I sort of want to run with. Now I could have extended the mezzanine out, but once again, working around all this stuff would just be sort of a pain in the butt. And now we have a better uh, or a bigger spot to display more art. And this door right here has been added as well. You can see we actually had to patch that. So we have to do the final coat of paint there. And that's beauty. And then when we get the trim for the walls up there, we're also gonna get the trim for the door as well. So that's beauty. I also did some painting in here as well. We just gotta like cut it in. So I did all the painting up there. Maybe another coat and some cutting in. And then that's done. I've got some really exciting news in regards to the timeline for finishing the studio. I'm filming this video right now on Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. We're gonna take care of most of that carpentry work tomorrow, putting the trim around the top, around the door, doing some of the finished paint work. And then it's Monday. And Monday is gonna be a super exciting day because Monday we're gonna be taking care of carpet. So we're actually gonna be adding carpet to the upstairs mezzanine space. And that is super exciting because the carpet is a pretty much the final phase. So once we start laying the carpet in here, I'm pretty much ready to move in. Once I do like a power clean that is. There was one other thing that we were supposed to do today and that was the uh, baseboard trim along the cloud wall. Didn't do that. Why didn't I do that? Or why didn't we do that? It's because we're doing carpet. Baseboards come last, they go in after the carpet, because then we're gonna be able to install the carpet all the way along, cut the edges rough or whatever it may be, not perfect, get it up against the wall, boom, put the baseboard right on top and uh, make it look real nice because that base, the carpet will just go right underneath the baseboard. That's how you do things, right? Absolutely, so yeah, that's uh, the day. We got lots of painting done, got lots of carpentry done. All we have to do is finish the carpentry, do the washroom and add the carpet. Pretty exciting stuff. I'm gonna go home and hang out with my family. Farewell everybody, have a great day.